Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to this channel. My name is Bronte. This week is going to be not different, but maybe a little different. <laughs> um, we're doing a decorate with me sort of video. I do not feel very well, so I don't know if you can tell, I've got very sore throat, like I feel kind of stuffy. Um, so I don't want to do tons of talking. <laughs> um, so I thought this would be a good video for us to do. I will be working on a week's worth of weekly, uh, of sorry, a week's worth of daily pages in my Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I think it's going to be the second week of July. I do have uh, next week is the first week of July. I do already have that decorated. <laughs> so we're going to be doing the second week of July. I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do so let's just jump in and start um so oh so it's a weekly spread I did um and I absolutely love it so I want to recreate this kind of across a week's worth of daily pages so I used this beautiful washi tape um this is by Jade Holly Designs on Etsy um you can get this, I think, from Olive and Mabel Co, but I, she might be sold out right now. But anyway, yeah, um, Olive and Mabel Co also have this tape and it's just beautiful. I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. It's, um, you know, it's got this kind of quilt look, which I love, and the colours are just so good. And if you are familiar with the channel, you know, or you probably know that I don't often use pink. It's just not a colour that I gravitate towards, but... I really love it in combination with this kind of uh, olivey green. I was going to say sludgy green. It's not sludgy. It's beautiful. Um, and I used it together with this sheet of stickers from The Giving Girl. These are from her ephemera collection. They're like a pressed nasturtium flower. And I have these on the vivid white washi. So you can see that they're very... Um, not translucent the opposite they're quite opaque <laughs> um so yeah this is the inspiration and i have pulled out a few bits that i thought we could use for this spread so shall we just go for it let's find the pages we're going to be decorating um apologies if you can hear the train line running behind my house um it's really like um overcast but really hot today and um our fan uh is completely buried in a load of junk so <laughs> i can't dig it out by myself i need my boyfriend's help so i've had to leave the door open so i don't get too too boiling hot <laughs> um i hope that's not too disruptive for the video okay so um, the previous week I used this Coffee Monsters Co washi tape to kind of uh, follow the line of the, um, I think Hobonichi called this the invisible margin. Um, and that is the sort of, this box here is where I kind of write my to-do lists. Um, you can see here, this is my list for today. Uh, so I don't want to use the, the washi tape in this way. I will use it a different way. I'm just conscious of like, parts of my book getting really really bulky so I think what I'm going to do is take inspiration from this week uh, in the middle of June um, where this was my birthday week and I did quite like OTT deco I did a lot of it like I used a lot of stickers and quite a lot of washi tape um, but I love it um, I think it turned out really nicely so I think I'm going to be doing something similar um so i may even just kind of copy exactly where i've placed the washi tape um day by day and then build it from there so when i'm decorating these weekly pages also i'm so sorry if i'm talking too fast um i'm gonna try and slow down <laughs> so when i am building up the decoration for my weekly pages i kind of do think about where i'm gonna write um and how that kind of decoration encroaches into the space I have to write. So I know that uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm always at work. 
and I tend to write a lot less on those days. So you can see this was a Thursday and I hardly wrote anything. So I actually expanded this collage to include everything here, um, which is another thing I can do to fill up the page if it's looking really empty. Um, but yeah, I kind of think about that when I'm decorating. Um, it's just useful for me to bear in mind that um, maybe on, say, Friday, I do need space to write my to-do lists. This was anomalous because this was my birthday. But uh, ordinarily, I would need space on a Friday and on a Monday to write lists of my tasks for the day because that's when I do YouTube and Patreon work. So, yeah. Um, so that's something to bear in mind when doing decoration. And I tend to lay the washi tape down first for a full week and then I'll come back and build that up with more stickers. So let's do that first. Um, I think what I'm going to do is kind of do a bit of a, a copycat of that week that I love that I just showed you um, because it just worked really well. So you can see Monday here is on the right hand side page and this Monday is on the left. So it will look different. So here we had a strip of washi kind of from the bottom. Uh, I lined it up with the bottom of this box and kind of brought it up towards the top of the page. So that would be sort of here. Um, and this I did use, I kind of ripped it with my ruler for the weekly spread that I showed you at the beginning, um, but I'm just going to rip it uh, this time because I just, I don't need it to be as neat. So then that's there, and then Tuesday was at the top, somewhere here. But I think I might change that, and I'm going to put um, a piece here. Okay, so next up we've got Wednesday, and Wednesday was... Oh, in the corner where I just placed that other piece. So let's do Wednesday and Thursday, how I did Thursday and Friday, which I kind of used the middle of the pages, the spine area. So I'm going to put one piece here. Oops. Okay, and then I believe, so Friday, here we are, is the day I need to use this box. So I think I'm going to put um, a piece across the bottom of the box, like this. Yep, and then Saturday, let's check if I'm at work. I think I'm at work that day, so I probably won't do tons of stuff. Oh, I don't have it written down. Great. I think I will be at work, so I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna actually just use this box. Because if I do need to write some to-dos, worst case, they can go here. <laughs> and then someday, I think... I think I'm going to start over down here and build out from that kind of corner outwards. Okay, so that's the washi tape laid down. So now I am going to refer back to the weekly spread. So what I have used is a lot of pieces of pet tape as well. Um, this 
these pieces are from my absolute favorite, which I've got a load of cut pieces here. This is a Benchu tape, which I bought from Paper Game Co. Um, it's called, oh God, what's it called? Botanist's Papers. It's really amazing. Um, so I do have that whole loop that I just kind of, I just cut a loop and took some bits out of it because I used quite a lot of the typewriter keys. Um, so I, yeah, I cut a fresh loop to get more of those typewriter keys. Um, but I also have in my sticker release book from Traveller's Company, I've got quite a lot of cut pieces anyway. So I think I'll use these up first and then we can always get some more bits if, if they are needed. Um, so yes, okay, let's let's go for it. Um, so I'm gonna layer some of these pieces in first and then we can come back and kind of build up with the nasturtiums and smaller elements like the typewriter keys and these letters here are from ours studio i got a book of the these letterpress letters and they're on perforated sheets um so i've gone through a few sheets because i've wanted to spell out some words already um so I thought I could just use some of the kind of more random leftovers on these pages, uh, which I hadn't originally thought of doing when I bought that book, but I think it's a good use of like cues and stuff because <laughs> I don't think I will often be spelling a word with a Q in it. So yeah. Okay, uh, let's get the tweezers. And let's put a piece down for each piece of tape. So we need seven. Um, let's think. I used in the weekly pages, I kind of picked things that were a bit pinky, um, that went with this sort of washi tape, but I don't think I can be as discerning because I'm going to need to use more pieces. So, let's just go for it, um, and see where we end up. Okay, I'm going to go for this one first.
Okay, so I've just gone through and pulled out a few more like neutral pieces that I thought we could add in. Um, I'm definitely going to cover up the middle of this flower. I actually don't mind it so much now I've put it down, but I think with using the orange uh, nasturtiums, this I can cover. And the same with... Uh, yeah, maybe these two pieces are jarring me because uh, they're quite dark. I think I can pick them back up though. Let's let's see if we can swap these out. Yes. Okay, that's one of the things I also love about pet tape on <laughs> Tom River paper is that you can tend to you can tend to be able to pick it back up if that makes is that the right way to structure that sentence who knows my brain is fuzzy <laughs> um okay yeah because the paper is so smooth and the pet tape is also super smooth it tends to come up and then you can just restick it in your reusable sticker book <laughs> Let's try this again. Ugh, why? Yes. And then this piece, I think. I love the fact that this tape has these kind of like scraps of lace. I just think it's so beautiful. so much better okay I may be you know I may just overthink these things and think something doesn't look good when in actual fact probably any normal person would think it looks nice but you know I, I just I just I really enjoy doing these spreads and uh, it's I just like to get them exactly right and I'm sure lots of you guys could uh, kind of, I was going to say sympathize, you don't, I don't mean sympathize, you can kind of empathize with that. Does that, is that the right word? That, you know, you guys are all very exacting with your pages as well. And that's part of the nice thing about doing these sorts of spreads is that they're just exactly what you want them to be. And you can really take your time doing them. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think I want to put this in here. Because I think that trio is lovely. So let's quickly get this snipped out. I just cut these out roughly. Uh, but I love fussy cutting so I do tend to like to come and uh, make all of the kind of cutting out really neat around the edges just because pet tape is shiny uh, and I think you can, again this is me kind of being very exacting but you can see if you've kind of rough cut the pet tape um, which you know probably doesn't bother most people but <laughs> for me I like it to be really kind of close around the edges of the design I'm cutting uh, so yeah great okay lovely lovely then I think these two pages are fine. I'm gonna come back to this spread because I'm not like 100% on this one. So I think I wanna cover up this red stamp here. And I think I'm gonna use this scrap of lace to do that. And then because this is kind of beigey and these are cool toned, I'm gonna to add this envelope in down here. Yes, I think that will work nicely. So 
So I really like to balance out the colours that I use. Um, as you can clearly see, I think that's what I've been doing and just not like verbalising it. <laughs> um, and I like to kind of keep the amount of elements on the page in like nice numbers. So if I'm going to use something small, like one of these uh, letters, for example, I would want to do an odd number. Normally I would choose three um, or five if I'm being excessive. <laughs> it also depends on the size of the page. Like in the weeks, three is plenty, but in this cousin, obviously the page is so much bigger. So five sometimes tends to be the way to go with small elements. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this envelope here. So this I've put up here, so I don't want to put this down. I think I want it somewhere here. I think that balances. Oopsies. Yeah, I want to kind of mirror um, the page. Okay, and then this bit here, I like this, but I think maybe just a little tag uh, would add to that. Yeah. Let's quickly cut this out. And then we talked about covering the middle of this flower. Uh, I took this piece, I mean, that works really well, doesn't it? It's like the perfect shape. And it, the colors kind of reflect uh, in this tag too. So let's cut this out. This is like a lovely piece of like stack. It's like a stack of letters or like papers. And then it's got kind of a locket on top. Honestly, I'm so glad I found this tape because I, use it so often. I was actually thinking when I was getting things ready for this video that maybe I would have to buy another roll of this tape because I've used so much of it. I just love it. Okay. All right, wonderful. Um, so now I want to go in with the nasturtiums. Um, and now I want to find pieces that kind of will match to what we've got going on um, shape wise. So let's see. And I think what I'll do is I'll put one nasturtium per page and then obviously there's more than seven pieces here. So I think I'll just use this sheet up, um, but only after everything is placed. I love the fact that some of them have these really long stems.
So that's all of them used up, and now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so we can put two per page. Um, that worked out well. Or we can do one on one page and three on another page. Yeah. So here now, for example, if I wanted to do the mirroring sort of thing that I was talking about earlier, we have one on this page and then three somewhere else instead of doing two and two. Uh, I think that works better. So I'm actually just going to come back here first. See what. So now, for example, I think that the, the three should be here. So let's take this little one. And this little bud as well. So there we go. See, it's one here, three here. I think just... I don't know I don't know where this rule has like arisen from in my brain but like one and three or like odd numbers three is better than two for some reason I just I, yeah I don't know I guess I have made it up but <laughs> it does seem to work so or it works for me and how I like these pages to look So now, I want one here as well. Don't want it directly opposite, want to offset, so. Yeah. Okay. So now, I think I want them on the Saturday, so let's have a look. I think that one should be up there. And then this larger one. Okay, that's that sheet done. Woo! I like filling, I like finishing sheets. Okay, and now we've got some little tiny elements to add in. These pages are getting pretty, uh, like there's a lot of stuff going on here, but I like it. <laughs> okay, so now we've got these typewriter keys from the same bench you tape, this element we've already used. And um, I also have these Hours Studio letters. These Hours Studio letters are not adhesive, so I would have to use my glue tape. This one's from Daiso. Um, my boyfriend brought that back from LA last time he was there. Um, he tends to, or he did stock me up with these. He bought me like eight of them because <laughs> they're really expensive in the UK. Oh, I've got a bit of a slightly weak iced coffee um with what was left over from the coffee pot from this morning um and it's really good um uh, it's feeling very soothing on my throat okay so um i'm just having a think about these uh these letters So again, I think these are going to be in uh, threes across the page. So one on one page, two on another. Okay. So, and I want to mix between the hour studio letters and the pet tape letters. Just 
to kind of change up the textures a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna just cut this out. So I liked how I had this placed up here. So let's just put it down. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna overlap it ever so slightly with that flower. I think that looks really good. Okay, and now we're gonna use M. I picked out M because I was gonna put it on Monday, but I think that it's gonna, it, or it is gonna go on Tuesday, so whatever. <laughs> Okay, I really like how this is shaping up. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna put two in here. So we've got an F and a P. Let's do P. And then we've got this large L typewriter key. Yeah, let's just go for it. I think also the dark grey of this typewriter key matches this Eiffel Tower pretty well, so yeah. Mm, I like it up here. These are turning into quite like kind of sprawling collages, uh, so there may not be so much journaling going on this week because I've kind of taken up the page with these guys, um, but that's fine. Fine by me. So I was just thinking as well, oops, another thing I like to do is match my fountain pen ink to my spread. So I write my journal entries in fountain pen and everything else is in uh, UniJetStream pen. And I think this week it would be good to use uh, the Pilot Irishizuku ink that I've got in my Twisby. It's almost run out and it's a discontinued colour. In a Ho is the colour, um, which is devastating. <laughs> but um, I think maybe this is the week that I just use it up. Because it will match perfectly with the sludgy green, not a sludgy green, this kind of yellowy, olivey green.
Okay, so now I need to decide what letter should go on here. Okay, I really like it. I think it looks turned out real good. Okay, so then the only thing to think about now is this spread here. I used some of these pink dots and some stars. I think I do want gold stars in here, so where would those be? Where would you have put those? Ta da! Okay. So, I don't have tons of small ones left on this sheet. Hmm. So again, this is the sort of thing I would do maybe one big one and two small ones. So, we'll put the big one over where there's two letters and then two small ones. Over here. So this would be one big one. No. This would be one big one. Two smallies. I do have a uh, another big sheet of these, so I'll get that out in a sec. Because uh, we've used up all the smalls. So now we go one big. And then two small on here. Um, I think there's more in here. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. These stars are just from WH Smith's. But I... I um, I tend to cut them in half so they fit in pockets and like this thing. Although actually they fit. Anyway, I tend to cut the sheets in half, but I maybe need to not don't need to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to do th two small ones on this page too because it's only got one letter. Okay. And then the only other thing I was thinking of doing is using these days of the week, also from The Giving Girl, also from her ephemera collection on the Vivid White Washi. I thought these could match quite nicely, but first I'm going to drink some more coffee. Okay, so the last time I used these weekly days of the week, I kind of integrated them into the spread here. So they kind of joined the deco, whereas I will more often have them right at the top of the page if I use a day of the week sticker. So I think these could go with the deco. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Because these have blue in and there's no blue going on 
on the rest of the spread but I do think they do kind of match the vibe okay I really like that so <laughs> I'm immediately putting that down And another sheet finished. Right, okay. I'm just gonna change Tuesday because uh, I'm not happy with this. I like this, but I don't love it. Do you know what I mean? These are a bit harder to peel up, <laughs> FYI. You got it? Okay, I think we're done. So that was that. So we, we uh, this was the inspo. And now these are the spreads that we've created from that. I love this. I think it's so happy and fun. So I'm going to leave the video off here because I just checked it. The, the time on my screen and it's saying 46 minutes that's gonna be fun for me to edit <laughs> so I'll I'll leave the video here I hope you enjoyed this if you have questions please please do just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you um, I'll try and link products and things um, I do have a referral code for the giving girl which gives you 20% off your first order um, it's not an affiliate code but I do get uh, kind of points that equate to store credit if you use my uh, referral code. So that, I mean, that's great for me and good for you if you want to try out the stickers from The Giving Girl because they are beautiful. Um, and yeah, that's that, I think. I will be back next week. Um, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, next week. I don't know what the video will be. If you want to see something, let me know in the comments and <laughs> I can try and work that into my schedule. Um, but yeah, thank you also for bearing with me because I've not been super active on YouTube recently. Um, but I'm, I'm, it's nice to be back and I'm glad that I've done this video and I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. So yes, have a lovely week everybody and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye!